Hello, <laughs> YouTube. <coughs> So, this is the sixth time in about three months I have tried to make a video. I'm tired and I can't even, I cannot edit this video. It's not going to happen because I don't have enough space. So by the time I'm finished with this vlog and update you people with this list, <laughs> by that point... I will send it straight to YouTube and you'll be watching it because I can't edit this video. So hopefully it doesn't burp. And I am seriously sorry that it's not edited. <laughs> Please subscribe because there'll be more videos eventually edited. <laughs> and hopefully more frequently posted. Let's say, I'm a little frustrated, can you tell? Hi, gotta look at my tattoo, just be, just be. So, yes, I have a new tattoo. It's one of the topics we're gonna be talking about. I got a pandemic tattoo to match my five year moment of mommyhood and all that fun stuff. So, I will do a tattoo video in the future because there's no way to edit this video. So. I'll just say too much. I don't want to go there. But um, I got this tattoo on the 5th of November. It came out wonderful. I am so happy with it. It's actually like um, typewriter print. You probably can't see it well. But I will do a more extended video in the future. So, long story short, I haven't been on here for a while because I've been very, 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 very sick. And it's a struggle to explain this story six times which I have recorded it six times, but I've been tested for COVID twice in 10 months and I literally had strep for nine straight months. I'm on 13 supplements to this day to be able to try to knock my immune system into gear to help my GI with the gastroparesis I suffer from. There will be future videos about all these supplements. So, I have been on the other side of the spectrum doing a whole lot to try to help myself and to build my son's immune system too through this entire endeavor of the pandemic. So when we last had our sit down and chat, I was waiting for the doctors to tell me what to do and I was starting new antibiotics pretty much at the beginning. I had taken five different antibiotics, none of them worked. So the doctors pretty much are convinced with the gastroparesis I have which is basically a paralysis of the stomach, which then makes it very hard for you to digest food, which nutritionally you don't get what you need, so then your body can't do what it needs to. So I'm taking all kinds of supplements to basically jumpstart my immune system, make my GI work better, and overall to feel better. So I'm not on any actual pharmaceuticals anymore. I literally only take herbs that are capsuled and cannabis oil every day and I'm on micro dosing so there's lots I'll talk to you guys about on this channel but I did start another channel recently called Rachel Raw Truth which basically is going to be more of a personal stories about my life not so much health more funny and silly and serious and political and unboxings and all that fun stuff so it's more of a commentary personality channel not so much Miss Chronic Chronicles, truly Rachel, myself, you know. Miss Chronic Chronicles is the activism side of me. I am here to chronicalize my health and all of the experiences I've had for the last 10 years with cannabis that has been legalized as far as it has. So I hope <laughs> that I can revamp this channel and get back on the saddle, but I'll be honest, I've had YouTube burn out for a while. It's not YouTube's fault. It's not even my fault. It's the circumstances. And I have put more emphasis on taking care of my child and that being priority than ever making content and being on social media. So um, through the pandemic, I really wanted to record everything, but I didn't feel like it was, I didn't feel like it was good enough to share because I wasn't even sure what was going to happen. So to come full circle and to say that I don't have strep anymore, and that I am in a totally new place in a lot of different ways. 
um, it's kind of what I'm going to be focusing on in these two different channels, talking about the activism side, talking about the politics side, all of the above. So I am learning the program software OBS right now. If you're familiar with that, if you're not, I'll give you a brief summary. OBS is basically a software that you can broadcast and use to record and stream. So um, taking some of my old content from this channel and reviewing it as like a commentary version may be reposted onto my Rachel Rod Truth or I may do some commentaries here on this channel. I haven't learned the software fully. Um, it's window based that I'm learning it on and I do have a Mac um, Air Mac Mini. So I don't know if I'm going to try to do that Apple Mini, if I'm going to try to like learn the software on that or if I'm going to go ahead and do it on the, but I've learned parts. <laughs> it's confusing and the mic isn't working. I actually bought a Snowball, a blue Snowball mic. I spent good money on it. It's beautiful, but it doesn't work. So I haven't tried it on my laptop yet. When that happens, if it happens, <laughs> when it happens, I'll let you guys know, but so I've been trying to improve my gear um, for all reasons, from the microphone to even cameras. So I have a 4K camera that's a really beautiful cinematography, 48 megapixels. Ah! My $900 Samsung NX30 does 21 megapixels. So this one does eight. <laughs> It's lovely, let me just say. So, I will actually be doing some like nerd report stuff and doing reviews on some stuff that I've used in the past and giving you guys some of that because I'm at the point that I'm transferring a lot of like the old gear I was using back in the day, starting this channel and just content in general I've done over the years. I'm going to kind of share with you guys because some stuff is still usable. Um, I have some tablets that I'm um, working on I don't want to get too far, but I'm working on some other things, side projects, and I'm really hoping I can get back into the music stuff. It's not probably going to happen very soon, but if my son ever is in in-person school learning, I'm hoping to get more back in, like, get heavier involved with the music and the podcast. Uh, I want to bring guests on. It just It's scheduling, tiredness, all of that. I'm probably only ever going to be able to chat with you guys at night because I focus more on being a mom during the day and I'm not sorry about that and I don't think I should be. And when it comes to YouTube, like I said, I have a problem because I'm coming from the generation where we still like to edit and I shouldn't have to because honestly, I'm a blogger. That's what I do. But the content that I have that I want to share with you guys is ever evolving and I'm ever changing. I mean, most of my life... Um, I've been like a secret nerd, you know, so like I have things that I've been studying and looking into for a while, you know, like, um, but starting potentially a Facebook like group where I can do some live streams and do some live music I have been playing with the ideas. It's been a long time. It's, it's literally been a long time. So if everything starts rolling, that's what I plan to do. Um, so watch for some new videos where I'll actually break down some of the stuff I'm talking with you guys about. But this is just like a summary update because I've had to record it six times. <laughs> I'm, ah, I've said it enough. Cheers, right? Um, I'm drinking on my Fusion coffee, CBD coffee. Check out the links below. Mm. And um, yeah, so... Let's see what else I need to touch on. So, I don't think I completely said it. Oh my god, I hope I'm not repeating myself. See, this is where it gets a problem. So, my son's schooling was supposed to be in person, but I don't think they're going to do that. I think it's actually going to be virtual learning. I actually had a conversation with my son's, one of my son's administrators because... Initially, I was really excited about him having in person. Now, because we have like the, the COVID wave, which is basically hitting Utah, Kansas, and that's just bordering us way too much. Montana's been spiking, and New Mexico's been spiking. We're in the middle. Colorado's in the middle. Colorado's having problems. It's coming here because it's hit Grand Junction, and it's hit um, 
Denver area. So I'm in like a rural area. I'm in a very small area. We have about 3,000 people. Not many, um, but probably like living here, not vacationing here, living here. Probably like a thousand people. Um, I will say that our town has had so much outreach with food. It's ridiculous because when the pandemic hit the first time, it was really, really scarce to get supplies. I know I talked about it in some previous vlogs. Um, but the shutdown, we're technically not in a full shutdown. We're at a stay-at-home order. Better to stay at home. That's kind of what Colorado is um, pushing. So I'm not really sure if they are going to implement a full shutdown. It's very possible. I'm sure it will be. Let's just be honest with one another. The whole United States is going to get shut down again. But, and for whatever conspiracies you do or do not believe, that's not the conversation I'm having with you right now. Facts are facts. That mentality of where I live has really been um, a community, a true community. So I'm really happy to be here versus somewhere else that I could be, like where my family's at or even in California, is not the best place to be during these times. And it's so crazy for me to explain this in like a nice conversational way because I kind of knew that. Like I knew if anything hit the fucking fan, this is where I wanted to be because Colorado in this area is safer, much safer. Um, it's a small town mentality so we all give a crap about each other. I don't know how else to put that. So yeah, there's a good portion of people who are just don't wear masks and don't want to wear masks and aren't going to wear masks. And they usually just don't have a lot of friends right now. I don't know how else to say that. Because people keep to themselves. Nobody's trying to like make it a big priority to be against restrictions right now in our city. Um, the convenience stores, the grocery stores, the post office, all the main places is places is the places that you would go for normal working town is requiring masks but schools it's interesting when you drive by I mean the kids are only outside they're only outside all day so if there's like a snowy day like I hate to say this but this is not the state to put your kids outside on the lawn it's not so <laughs> I've watched some things I mean <laughs> so I have had a conversation with my son's school administrator and I was like, look, until February, can we like reassess the situation? I don't feel comfortable with him possibly getting sick or me possibly with a low immune system getting sick. So that's the biggest change since the last time we had a, an updated vlog where I was really hoping he'd get in school. I was really hoping and now I'm the one fearing it enough to say no, unfortunately. So that's happened. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to make this vlog into parts because I feel like it just needs to be. So if we get cut off, I apologize. We're just going to go. You'll get the point. You already know. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell so you know when I make another video. So um, let's see. Let's see. Friendships, dating, love, and family. Lots have changed in that aspect. I unfortunately rekindled a relationship with someone I was with for two years. And you guys have heard about it here and there. Not much, but here and there. And I still, to this second, this minute, love this person. But it's I'm starting to realize that like I tried so damn hard. It's It wasn't. <laughs> it's another video. It's another video. And actually, this painting right here will be the inspiration of talking about my history with relationships and in the past, what I think has, like, I don't know, ingrained me to be the woman I am today. So we'll be talking about that. There'll be, you know, sex, drugs, and rock and roll moments um, talking about in that future video. So do subscribe. Um, if you're into commentary and whatnot, like I said, my other channel... I will stim off on some subjects here on this channel, but most of the time I'll try to, you know, conform to what I'm trying to do. My tab, my phone, this thing right here. <laughs> oh, $52 left on the phone and I'm getting a second one and this thing's only going to be recording and no more life. No more life of a phone. <laughs> 
Anyway, uh, I have the worst luck in the world with memory. I swear to God. And I don't mean this one. I mean the phone. I tell you what. They're against me. All the storage devices I own are against me. <laughs> anyway, um, I know that's a tangent. But yes, okay, so what new things are, are going on in the... Let's see, hold on, hold on. I will be working on the podcast more. I'm trying to get like... Um, a normalcy where I can do the dishes and start a podcast. That's kind of my plan. So that, you know, when I want to dump some concepts out there, I will. But I cannot guarantee it. I am trying to get back on the schedule of just making content in general. And so for all the love in the world, <laughs> I love being here on YouTube because it's always been a very welcoming place and I have such good relationships with most of you subscribers. So it's like you guys are my family, so, like, I totally love being able to make content. Even if it isn't the best, you guys are welcoming and receiving. But I want to make more frequent content, and that's so frustrating to me, because it's like, I'm not living up to my own level of expectations, and then I make promises, or I try to make a promise, and I don't do it. And it's like, you know, most people in the astrology world be like, oh, that's a Libra thing, but that's not an excuse. <laughs> I overanalyze things to the point I don't get shit done. That is the damn truth. That is the truth. That's the truth. So, <laughs> my lists are long. Let's put it that way. You should see my... I got a whole other list on the other page of what I got to do. Dishes and laundry and all that fun stuff. But yeah, um... So there are some foods that I'm going to be talking about in a future video that I have started eating that I never would have eaten in the past, but I've started eating them for health reasons. So I'll be sharing some of that. Um... And then Macari, eBay, and Postmark. I will be doing some future videos on that. I know I've talked about it here and there. But this is part of the reason where I'm like, I might want to start a Facebook group because I could do some live streams and kind of share it out there, some of the visuals. Because it's hard to, you know, show you guys stuff. But if there's a physical way I could maybe do the OBS with Facebook, I might do that. So we'll see what happens with that. But And then this winter, I am planning to start um, growing. So stay tuned for those videos. They will be on this channel, no doubt about that. So if you're interested in the growing aspect or you come from a state that just legalized, <laughs> you're in the right place. Because <laughs> I'm going to be growing a lot this summer. I mean, this uh, winter and then into the summer, spring months. We'll talk about that too. Um, Renovation-wise, I am still working on my house. I feel like the phone's going to die any minute. I am still working on my house, so um, stay tuned and subscribe to my, not subscribe, follow my Instagram, Chronically Designed. Um, and there's a Facebook group for that, too. I will put a link below. Basically, I'm posting as I feel like it's appropriate, too. But I will get heavier because some things are getting completed. Um, it's just like putting your shoes on and going outside. I'm just trying to put more content out there because I haven't been. And it's, I haven't felt right. I was like... How important is a video versus how bad do I feel, right? Let's just put priority in order here. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to let that be because there's, like, so much on this list that I've already ran through. And I'm sure there's more. Oh, yeah, I bought my house in September of 2019. So we just made a year. And with everything that happened with my health, i got a lot to catch up on and share with you guys what's happened in the last year. So... Stay tuned for that, edited or non-edited videos, but I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to post this video. I hate that it, I had to speed through this, like, straight up. Like, can I get a 1, 1, 1, 9, 2, 5, 6, 7, 7, 7, 7? I feel like a damn auctioneer right now <laughs> explaining everything so fast. But stay tuned for future videos. Thank you for stopping by, and if you're awesome enough to leave a comment, it does help the algorithm, it does bring people to my channel, and I appreciate that. Share out the video if you're so kind, and um, until next time, thank you so much for stopping by. See you later.